So in today's COVID video number six, we're going to talk about nitric oxide, nasal breathing, and COVID-19. So what's nitric oxide? Nitric oxide is a molecular messenger molecule. I call it a molecular masseuse because it actually causes smooth muscles to relax. And smooth muscles are what line blood vessel walls and our airways as well. So they literally relax blood vessels so it can improve circulation and lower blood pressure. It relaxes our airways so we can breathe better. So think of NO as also standing for a natural opener, opens up blood vessels and opens up our airways. Now, interestingly, nitric oxide or NO also blocks viral replication, specifically COVID-19 replication, which is what I'm showing there in the top diagram. Now, the bottom left shows you that a good percent, 25 to 30% of our biologically active nitric oxide actually can come from our paranasal sinuses. So in addition to the antiviral effects, it does multiple other things. We talked about the beneficial effects on lungs and heart, improves erectile blood flow, which is how drugs like Viagra work, prevents blood clots, and improves brain function. So this really is a miracle molecule. Now, some natural ways to increase nitric oxide. Exercise, by far, is the best way to elevate nitric oxide levels. There's no supplement that can replace that. And I put the link for how I specifically prescribe exercise. We're going to talk about nasal breathing and humming, and then lastly, diet. Now, nasal nitric oxide in this top study, interestingly, they took nasal air and they introduced it into the lungs first of healthy subjects, and they found that their oxygen levels went up by 10%. They also introduced it into individuals that were actually on mechanical ventilators, so they put it into their breathing tube and found that their oxygen levels went up by 18%. So that nasal air rich with nitric oxide can be very therapeutic for our lungs and overall health. And now to date, major medical centers are testing the effects of delivering inhaled nitric oxide to see if it improves survival from COVID-19, really because of those two major factors. Number one, the antiviral effects on COVID-19, and number two, the beneficial impact on the physiology of lung and heart function. Remember, the lungs and heart are really what are physiologically vulnerable to a severe COVID-19 infection. Now, aside from nasal breathing, which is a powerful way to elevate nitric oxide, nasal humming looks like it has a potent impact as well. So nasal humming can actually elevate nasal nitric oxide by 15 fold. And it appears that the vibrations in those sinuses when we hum has some impact on massaging and releasing more nitric oxide. So simply when you go, hmm, that vibration in the sinuses can really elevate that nitric oxide. So we know humming can be a relaxing, pleasurable activity, but nitric oxide might be the mechanism of how the humming actually has beneficial effects. Now, some quick breathing tips. I blog in the past about nasal breathing, so I put the link there at the top, so go to that for more details. Mouth taping might be a good set of training wheels to get you used to nasal breathing. So take some medical tape and just tape your mouth and go about your daily business. That'll force you to breathe mainly through your nose. Nasal breathing, or I'm sorry, mouth taping at nighttime can actually improve sleep quality. And my good friend, Dr. Mark Berhenna at MassAcidDentist.com has some great posts on mouth taping at night to improve sleep. And then you can do specific exercises like alternate nostril breathing and brahmari, which is a technique where you hum and create some increased vibrations in those sinuses. Now, what is the impact on our oral microbiome, the bacterial population in our mouth? This is really important. When we have the right healthy bacteria in our mouth, it increases the conversion into active nitric oxide. So that's why at the top in red, I put we need to stop using antibacterial mouthwash, which can eradicate the healthy nitric oxide producing bacteria. Now, these two studies, and one at the top shows that there is an association with healthy oral microbiome and lowering blood pressure. And the study below it, which was published in the Journal of the American Heart Association, showed that having the right types of bacteria can actually lower blood glucose and improve insulin resistance. So these are powerful impacts just by changing the composition of the bacteria in our mouth. Now, some key dietary principles. We want to consume foods rich in nitric oxide, and I listed a bunch of those right there. Beets, garlic, meat, dark chocolate, preferably 70% plus to limit our sugar intake, green citrus, nut seeds, and pomegranate. But we also have to make sure we're eating the gut healthy foods so we have the right types of bacteria in our gut and oral mucosa to increase bioavailable nitric oxide. And we got to limit the processed foods and sugar because those grow the wrong type of bacteria. We have to have both foods rich in nitric oxide and we got to have the gut healthy bacteria. And again, going back to my original point, you can't replace exercise. Exercise is still the best way to significantly elevate nitric oxide. 
Thanks so much for watching. For my resources, download my free COVID ebook, subscribe to my YouTube co-video series, and follow me on Instagram.